What's up, boys? It's your boy JT out of Major Bag with another video. Forget the lights that are behind me, or don't let them distract you in today's reaction video. We are doing content days. So, quick sidebar if you're a business owner out there that is already making, you know, five, ten grand a month or more, and you want to come on the channel, share your story, teach other people how they can gain financial freedom and time freedom by doing a business that you've mastered then you're invited right there'll be some links somewhere down the description below for you to fill out the form talk to a member of the team and if you qualify you could come out right don't want to waste your time if you haven't already made six figures doing whatever it is that you do then respectfully this opportunity is not for you but if you already made at least a hundred thousand dollars in a single year or more and now you don't mind helping people teaching other people what it is that you do and you just want to come on the platform and share that information that opportunity is available for you right links are down in the description below but again no pressure that's why those lights on behind me but before they get here I definitely want to have this conversation with you all about AI, but you know I'm a practitioner that prides himself with bringing you additional practitioners if it's ever a situation that I'm not an expert in, and today is no different. Links to this content creator will be down in the description below, but without further ado, let's get into today's video. People who make the most money online in 2023 are the ones who understand the power of AI. So let's cover 10 steps to make affiliate revenue with AI. Here let's they're go. all laid out for you. So using ChatGPT to create the articles, validating, prompting it, signing up for affiliate links, optimizing and editing the article, importing it and publishing it. So we're going to cover these one by one specifically. So first when we talk... Hold on one second. We're going to do this in real time because this content creator is a wealth of knowledge. If you're not familiar with the channel, the channel is the top link down the description below because I want to make sure that you guys get it. But I want to make sure you all can see everything. So in real time, boom, step one. All right. Got to get right. Now, let's keep it going. Talk about step one, which is using ChatGPT for article ideas. So this is really in the article idea generation phase. What kind of content are we gonna create? What niche is it in? What's gonna make us money? So we have to think in terms of prompts to get the ideas going. So here's an example. Now, this is based on different niches and we can use a tool like Ahrefs in combination with ChatGPT to come up with a lot of article ideas that are gonna make a lot of affiliate revenue. Let's go. So for example, if I go into here and I go into ChatGPT and I type in, Give me 10 article ideas for drone list posts that could make a lot of affiliate revenue. It should be low competition and easy to rank for. And it's funny because it says, I do, cannot guarantee the, you know, the, the competitiveness or profitability of any of these things, but here are 10 ideas. So we have the top 10 affordable beginner drones, landscape photography, racing, professional filmmaking. You get it, tons of different article ideas. And then what we can do is come, you know, this is great for like, okay, I'm gonna start looking at some of these ideas. So I would use a tool like Ahrefs as well in tandem with that to look at something like best drones. And I can put that in and it shows the different, you know, keyword difficulty score. So this is actually a very difficult keyword just by itself, best drones. It's 70, it's pretty hard to rank for. There's a lot of competition on page one, 90 DR sites in here traffic potential is very high. But if I look at the matching terms tool, I can then find other variations of drones. So best drones for beginners with camera, for kids under $200, under $100, under 500 is a really interesting one because the difficulty is three, super easy to rank for. You got some volume there, 1600 global volume monthly. And then when we look at this competition, it's much lower. So you can see lower authority sites are ranking for this term. A. This is a writer downer. This is one of those videos that you save. This is one of those videos that, like I told you guys, you could watch my channel and make money. Don't let this opportunity go over your head. Run the play. You can leverage AI and do what you're seeing right now, today, and at least get started. Let's keep it going. Best by quadcopter.com, best of lens, drones, gator, and all of those. So this is important when we're making affiliate revenue. We want to use the word best because best signifies buying intent. So we can use ChatGPT to find the best product categories in your niche to make affiliate revenue for. So like best drones for, and you have tons of different long tail keywords that you can rank for here. So you want to validate this keyword. That's with a Ahrefs. nugget. So think in terms best. of these best things, and then you analyze the following. So keyword difficulty, the search volume, the position history, 
the backlink profile, and then you analyze this. So let's get into it real quick. All right, so we really have to validate this data. So we use AI initially to come up with some broad ideas in this whole process, and then we want to validate these keywords. So we can use a tool like Ahrefs to do that. Now, what we want to do is put in the word best, because best signifies buyer intent, and then we can use something else to narrow it down. So one example of something, if you're in the Amazon affiliate program or something like that, you could talk about hot tubs, things that are very expensive. When you look at best hot tub, it's not too competitive, but when you look down, it actually kind of is, because there's a lot of high domain rating sites in the 90s on the first page there's popular mechanics the spruce ZDNet, and these kind of sites but when we look at the matching terms tool this is key we can narrow this down and find other opportunities longer tail keywords that we actually can rank for so what about something like best plug and play hot tub that has a difficulty of four good search volume traffic potential of 1.9 K and when we go down to the top 10 ranking sites, we actually see a domain rating with a site of a domain rating of one, homehottubguide.com. Having a very low domain rating site on the first page of Google is actually a sign that, hey, I don't need a bunch of links to this article. I can actually start ranking for this right away if I create good content. So again, we go back and we validate these keywords from ChatGPT to Ahrefs looking at keyword difficulty, volume, probably 500 plus would be a good start or even lower because a lot of these tools aren't accurate. If you want to find things that are new and emerging, they might not even be in the tool yet, but it's a good starting point to find and validate the right keyword opportunities and then stack rank them to find the best ones for you. So you can see there's like a ton of numbers here. There's lots of different things to look after. It's like, what niche do I actually choose? What will make me the most money? What keywords do I pick? Well, if you're interested in learning more, 80 minute free training, make sure to click the link in the description below and sign up for my free masterclass. Let's go back to our drones example. So if I use Ahrefs, to value. Also, hey, once you go follow him, you'll find all of those links that he's referencing. Go check that out after this video. All right, just for those of you that I know are gonna want to learn. More. These drone articles that ChatGPT gave us, we see it's pretty competitive. Difficulty is 70, tough to rank for. But again, going back to the matching terms tool, we can find some different opportunities. Best drones under $100 for beginners, for photography, for real estate, lots of different stuff here. What if I did this one, which has very low difficulty? Best drones under 500. So best drones under 500, very low difficulty score of three, traffic global volume of 1.6K. And when we look at the top 10 ranking sites, we see it actually is not too bad. Yeah, there's one USA Today's in here, but then we have lower DR sites here, 33, 26, 50, 44, 47. So this one's not bad. So what if we wanted to use AI and ChatGPT to help us start creating this article? Well, here's what we would do. We would go to this tool and I would type in, right before he goes crazy with it and show us all of these dope plays, Understand that this is something that you could do whether you're young, something that you could do whether you're old. As of this recording, I have the pro version of ChatGPT, which is like 20 bucks a month, but the free version is also super cold. You don't need a ton of followers because what you're about to do is build a blog site that ranks high in Google, and then you sell other people's product as an affiliate and get paid a commission by doing that. There's no need to have 100,000 or a million followers if you're running the play that way. All right. Now, for those of you that want to gain followers, that's cool as well. But for the benefit of the people that's watching this that are not putting it together, literally, how do you make a website that will rank in Google? People will check it out. People will click your links in your site and you get paid when they buy stuff. Right. Simple as that. Let's keep it going because hopefully we're all on the same page. If anything confuses you, put it in the premiere of this video and let's talk about it in real time. Write a 1,000 word blog post on the top 10 best drones for under $500. This post should be optimized for SEO to rank for the keyword best drones for 500. And I'm going to put that in. And then it, they'll start writing the article for us. And it's actually really good at writing these intros and actually putting products in. You can even add the products in. Like you can say, put the DG. D J.I. Mavic Pro 3 into the number one position and you can tell it, you know, add an affiliate disclosure too. You can do all of these different things to make the article better and better. But as it goes through the list, you'll see that it's being written and it's starting to create a template for your article. Now, as that's writing, let's actually look at some of the competing articles for best drones under 500. And we see that there's Drone Rush, USA Today, Drone Skater. Let's just look at one of these and see what it is. So we can see that this is a blog from Paul. He's a drone enthusiast. This is a really nicely written article, easy to understand. You can check out the current price. If you click that link, that's an Amazon affiliate link. So he's in the Amazon affiliate program for this one. And that's an affiliate link right there. So DJI has an affiliate program. So let's Google that DJI affiliate program and let's find that. So we can just simply join this way. So we can say apply for a DJI promoter account, activate your links and get started. So you can boom, click the apply now button 
enter your email address password you might have to put in your website information and all that but then you just join the affiliate program so that you can add your specific affiliate links in as you can see sometimes ChatGPT will stop writing you can just click continue to make a to make it keep going all right, so now we have an actual completed article with ChatGPT. It goes from the top, you know, 10 articles and then adds and writes a conclusion for you. All right, so we can't actually use this article as is though. This is 100% written by AI. So what we wanna do is copy the entire article, first paste it into a tool like Grammarly, which is a free tool that can check the grammar. And let's see how good it is from a, uh, from a you know, writing standpoint. It's already a score of 94, which is pretty good. Out of 100, that's pretty solid. What we can do is Grammarly will quick uh, correct things for correctness, clarity, and engagement. So let's go ahead and start fixing things really quickly just by clicking in Grammarly. Writing is very hard these days. <laughs> All right, now we have a perfect Grammarly score of 100 out of 100. There are no punctuation errors, no spelling mistakes. It's looking good. Now let's copy this again. Select all, copy, and we'll paste it into a tool that will really help us, which is Surfer SEO. Now Surfer SEO he also uses AI, and it tells you exactly what to write with exactly how many headings, words, images, all the semantic keywords and all of that. So we're gonna get rid of this continue bar because that's what I wrote in there. But we can see by itself, what we would do then is use this tool to format the article correctly. So what we would do is we have an intro paragraph here, but what we wanna do is format this with the right heading. So we can say, what are the best drones under $500? And then what we would do is we would make that actually an H2 heading because that would be what it is. And I would say something like here, are the best drones under 500. And we go through this list and what we do with Surf for SEO is we get this score up a bit and we wanna get it to like the 70s, maybe even the 80s. We can do this over time, but we wanna add all of these different keywords in. So this is another really important AI tool, better even than I would say ChatGPT because we're using AI to scan all of the top ranking sites, see what semantic keywords are in there and add them in. So you'll see like an article on drones. We'll have things like Jet. That's a play right there, all right? You could chat GPT at the Grammarly to Surfer. For those people out there that feel like, well, everybody will just have the same article if we all do it for one. Depending on what you search, you're going to get different results as well. And then depending on which one of these other keywords that you add in Surfer SEO, that'll change it up a bit. There's also tools out there like Quillbot, Q-U-I-L-L. -L. So if you want to add a step, you can go from chat GPT searching for whatever the subject is that you're building an affiliate site on. Take that to Quillbot, Quillbot to reword everything, and then you plug it into Grammarly, then Surfer, and then you'll be back on this step. So the moral of the story is you can have excuses or you can do it in spite of your excuses. All right. So I'm not here to justify any excuses because there's somebody that has just as many excuses as you that's going to say, you know what, I'm going to shut up and hustle and I'm going to do it anyway. And that's what we all about here on this channel. We're all about giving you all the right answer so that way you can reach your financial goals. But let's keep it going. Gesture control, altitude hold. These things that the human mind would never know to put in the article. But when Google scans this article and they see all of these semantically related keywords, they're like, oh, this is a really good article. So that's optimizing the post for SEO. So takes a little bit of time, but you would go through this, add these keywords in, get your score up, make sure your word count is decent. You can keep adding things from ChatGPT, and then you continue to go through and optimize this article. Now, after you've gone through and edited this extensively, you want to edit a lot of stuff because, you know, AI by itself is very, you know, uh, computer generated because when we look at it, if we were just to paste this into... And quick sidebar as well, a lot of you all know when we we drinking our water, right? Gonna we'll knock all of this down for the end of the day. I challenge you all to watch my videos and sip water, right? Just plain old water, ain't gonna hurt nothing. But second to that, I also want you to know that I want us to start getting in the habit of starting businesses the right way so that way we can have maximum longevity in business. What I mean is this. I use a tool called onlinejobs.ph. This is not, you know, a sponsored video. I'm just giving you guys millionaire resources, right? So I would personally, if I didn't have the money to hire somebody off gate, one of the immediate milestones in my SEO, affiliate marketing, blog business, or whatever you want to call it, all right, 
one of my immediate milestones will be to make enough money to hire a part-time virtual assistant that will do 10 times the amount of work that I was doing, right? So let's say that I'm going through all of these steps to make one article. I would hire somebody part-time. Yes, they'll work three to four hours a day, but if I can only do one their job description will be to do five. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to post five blog articles a day. We might, but I'm saying I want that man or woman that I hire to be able to post five times at a minimum what I can do by myself, right? And then that may increase over time. I might switch them over to full time, all of that good stuff, right? I'll set that as a milestone. Let's say that part-time person is looking to make, I don't know, anywhere from... 200 to 500 a month this website's connecting you with people in the philippines so our money is different than their money yes even with all the controversy that may be going on when you're watching this video our money is still worth more than their money at least for right now and we'll tackle what happens if that changes when it changes it is a waste of time to worry about it right now but anyway they'll work very inexpensively by our standards and then now you outsource them to do all of this work. The reason why this caveat is important is because of this, is that a lot of you all might watch this and might say, okay, I did it. You know, I did it for one article. I did it for two articles. I made a little money, but man, that's a lot of work to only make an extra thousand bucks a month. Well, what if you, instead of making an extra thousand bucks a month, had somebody part-time that cost you 500 a month, but now that increased you to 5,000 a month? Right. And understanding that this person is going to make you money every single day. They want to be paid every two weeks. So if I say, hey, look, I'll come work for your company and you give me five hundred dollars for the month, hundred and twenty five a week paid by weekly, two hundred and fifty bucks. But I'm going to make you money every single day when you add it all up for the month. You're going to make five thousand out of that five thousand. Give me five hundred. I don't care what you do with your 4500 everybody's going to take that deal. The reason why most people struggle in business is because they don't understand how do you create big enough opportunities. So literally, this is just an example of how can you take this and create a big opportunity. So maybe you go through it yourself just to make sure you understand the steps that were covered in this video. And for those of you that tapped in with them, understand you know the entire business model from start to finish but most people are started and then just not have any milestones in their business in future reactions or in future videos we might talk about the top milestones every business needs to have but for the purposes of this video i want you to understand one of the necessary milestones you should have is hey how can i get somebody as soon as possible to replace me while also increasing my income all right. If that makes sense, put a one in the chat or put a one in the comment section. To a AI content detector and analyze the text, it will basically tell us that this is only 5% human generated content. So it knows that 95% of this was created by AI. Now, Google says right now that it's not penalizing AI content, but we want to future proof our site because if they did decide to penalize AI content in the future, we wouldn't want all of our content to drop out. So there's a couple alternatives to this that we can think about. The first is a tool called Content at Scale. So Content at Scale uses ChatGPT and AI kind of on top of ChatGPT and these other tools with its own formulas and sets of information to create better articles. So here's one I did on, I put in the target keyword, the best drones for real estate, and then pretty much hit optimize. I gave it like a sentence about it. And what it did is it already created the URL slug, the meta description. It has a 2300 word article, which is a lot better than the thousand I got from ChatGPT. And it has a nice table of contents and it actually organizes it this in the right way with all the right headings already. So this is way better. This actually passes uh, AI content detection. So using a tool like Content at Scale is actually a lot smarter and better. Content at Scale, Content at Scale. Right, I'm intentionally repetitive for a reason. That's a writer downer. Save this video, smash that thumbs up button. There are some people that are in this space that say that these search engines are already suppressing content if they determine that it is AI generated. But the dope thing that we as entrepreneurs know is that every problem creates a new solution. So there's tools out there that help us navigate this and create content that passes the detection like content at scale.
right? Let's keep it going. And you can actually click the link in the description below to check out Content at Scale and get 20% uh, more post credits when you do that. And it's a really good tool. You know, I think, you know, using ChatGPT by itself can be a little bit difficult because you have to get the content written there paste it in, edit it all yourself, optimize it for SEO, and then optimize it for human readers. Whereas you could use a tool like Content at Scale and like cut that time down by like, you know, 90% by having this tool do it all for you. So once we have the article and we have the content, we need to get it into a website builder or WordPress or something like that. So we get it in, we copy it, we paste it in. We can use a tool like Mammoth DocX Converter to convert a Google Doc all the way into WordPress easily and it adds all the images and everything like that. We can also use like an AI blog post image generator. So if I put in drones under 500, I can generate a specific AI you know, featured image for this article as well. So what we can also do here is we can use Surfer SEO's connection to just import the article right from Surfer into WordPress, which is really easy. We then can use Rank Math to improve the SEO again, so we can get that into WordPress, into the post editor and do it again, get all the settings in there, get our featured image. This is actually what it generated for us, so this is a unique AI generated image. And then we drop that featured image right into the WordPress post editor, and then we publish it. So that's really it. So that's the steps to creating it. So let's look at another example. So we have, give me 10 article ideas for VR list posts that could make a lot of money. So maybe the I'm definitely right. Remember me saying this, I'm definitely going to do a blog. All right. And those of you that are watching this, you should definitely do a blog. You're literally seeing at least part of the play that I'm going to do to have a blog that makes pass with the semi-passive image. is VR and we want to try something different. So the keyword here could be best virtual reality headset. And when I look at that, we see, you know, it's pretty competitive, but we see, you know, actually the one that looks pretty good here is the best virtual reality headset for iPhone. So let's try that one. Best virtual reality headset for iPhone. We see it's an easy difficulty, traffic potential 3.5K. And it actually doesn't look too hard to rank for. There's a couple sites ranking here like Tech Buzzer and Tech Touchy that aren't that high authority. So then again, we would go through the steps and we would say create a 1000 word blog post on the top 10 best VR headsets for iPhone. It'll do the same thing. You find the affiliate program. So you'd Google best VR headsets for iPhone. Look at some of these sites, see where these affiliate links are coming from. A lot of these are gonna be Amazon at first specifically, but then you can find all of that information, dump it into Grammarly again, use Surf for SEO to make your improvements, get it into WordPress, improve the SEO, create that featured image, which is, this is what it created for us for the VR headset one, and then drop it into WordPress and publish. So let's look at a few other ideas as well. So really you wanna use ChatGPT and AI to come up with idea prompts. So you could say, give me 10 article ideas for these software list posts. Then it gives you things like tools for remote team, project management tools, video conferencing, lots of different ideas. We're on photography gear. So you could talk about photography bags. Uh, reflectors, camera straps. It's really good to like come up with the initial idea, then validate it with hrefs. Or you can say fish finders, anything. Anything that you can come up with, you can get uh, good affiliate article ideas with ChatGPT. So when we think about all of this, you know, using AI to come up with ideas, validating keywords with hrefs, creating content with AI, you know, creating that minimum viable post that's good enough to rank on Google. It's all about making money, but affiliate marketing is really a numbers game. So to make $500 a day, let's think about the math and the formula it would take to get there. What would it look like? So let's say, for example, we're promoting a $1,000 product and we have a 10% commission rate. So every single sale that we get through a click on our affiliate link makes us $100. So for that, we would need five sales. So to do that, we would need to realize too that not everybody that finds you on Google and gets to your article is gonna click an affiliate link. Let's just say 25% of people that find your article click an affiliate link. And of that 25%, 2% of people actually finally purchase the product once they visit that website. So this would require then to get to five sales a day and make $500 in this example, we would need a thousand visits a day to our website, which would be about 30,000 visits a month to our website. And what we have to realize here, these are just kind of rough numbers. Every single article is its own mini business. So I talk about this in other videos about how to start a blog, but every single article can be optimized and monetized in its own unique way with affiliate links. So you have to optimize your site accordingly Make sure you add the affiliate links in the right places. To I like how you said every blog post could be its own business. That's powerful. If one blog post can generate $500 a day times X amount. Granted, let me preface this by saying that anything that can make you a lot of money can cost you a lot of money. Are there people with blogs that make way less money to include making no money at all off their blog? Absolutely. Are there people that make six and seven figures plus off their blogs? Yes. 
there's a lot of people that's in the middle of that as well. So that's why I always say financial literacy is the first step because you have to learn what's the right thing to do in order to get the result or the quote unquote right result. All right, hope that makes sense to you. Hope that we're not losing anybody. So this video is not guaranteeing that you'll make $500 a day because if you watch this video and go wing it, there's no telling what you'll make. But if you learn the right way, take these tools as a foundation, tap in with this great content creator and learn more, then you can continue to do so. And you know what? That being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you want to learn more, go subscribe to his YouTube channel in his latest video, be sure to let him know JT sent you. Spam up his comment section. And until next time, tell my hustlers stay hustling. JT Automations, I'm gone.